Hi, Market Pick community. Today, we're going to talk about basics related to crypto wallets. So let's start with crypto wallets in general, uh, what crypto wallets are and what types of crypto wallets we can have. So let's go to the definition. And uh, the definition is that crypto wallet uh, is used to interact with blockchain network by nature. So it means that they don't store the currency, but uh, as a tool, they just interact with blockchain network. They don't interfere inside it. Blockchain network is unchangeable. It can't be changed by any developer or any user. Uh, it, it just operates how it is designed. Uh, so, uh, and a wallet is only above the blockchain means uh, that allows us to access funds and uh, generate the necessary information to send and receive money. So, of course, through blockchain transactions. So, this is, uh, this is the definition. And um, I would like to tell you about the structure, uh, what uh, crypto, uh, crypto wallets consist of. So, first of all, the information comprises pairs of private and public keys. Um, so uh, you don't need to get into details uh, very, very much if you're not technical enough what public key is, but uh, you need to take care of your private key first of all. So um, based on these keys, uh, the address is generated. Uh, address is called alphanumeric identifier, so you don't, you don't need to get into de that detail, but you just need to understand that uh, this is just a, a, an external address that allows you to, uh, to specify the location to which coins can be sent to the blockchain. So the address can be shared to receive funds, but private keys are never to be shared. You, you, you can't uh, and you, you should not. Um, uh, pass over private keys to anyone or to publish them uh, online. So the private key can be used on any wallet for accessing the cryptocurrency because wallets uh, are only a software that allows to uh, enter the blockchain uh, transactions or bl blockchain uh, funds that you are storing. So as long um, as the private key is known, funds are accessible, so at any device, at any software, because blockchain looks universal and wallets are only the tools to unlock, uh, to unlock the, uh, uh, the door. So now also uh, coins just transferred from one address to another, never leaving the blockchain coins, always stay inside inside the blockchain so coming back to uh, to our structure and definitions so public keys so that you should know uh, are used ju just for a public access for example if you enter your desktop wallet uh, you can use your public key first of all and then your private key so uh, the the combination of keys works uh, to get access. So this is what you need to know about uh, the structure. And now let's speak about what we use our wallets for. Uh, first of all, uh, we use them just for trivial purposes like uh, storing our investments, keeping them in the blockchain, uh, making them safe and of course uh, protecting them, uh, protect from hack attacks, uh, DDoS attacks and uh, um, and other uh, and other in, uh, intrusions, so that can be possible. Uh, and the third, the most interesting function that uh, wallets uh, have, uh, they just started that function actively in the year two thousand twenty. Uh, we can operate uh, our transactions directly to a decentralized exchange. It's a very interesting, it's a separate topic that we, uh, that we talk about at our channel. And uh, 
it's another interesting function that you can uh, trade without uh, without sending your funds to in any any other wallet or uh, ex exchange wallet so this is very interesting and promising but just need uh, now to uh, summarize what we what we can do with our wallets so three functions in general well, another classification is custodial and non-custodial. It's a very popular and very actual uh, classification. So we were talking about um, uh, wallets which are hosted and non-hosted when we spoke about web wallets. Now uh, we can speak about the classification which is very important in terms of control of your money. As you can guess, custodial uh, wallets uh, are the wallets that are um, that offer the key storage service and they keep their own uh, private key of the account so uh, that's uh, that's the problem and non-custodial you control your private key yourself that's very easy so uh, but if we speak about the custodial wa wallets that uh, uh, we can mention that the funds are belonging to the account and they are controlled by third-party software which is very critical it can be compared with a bank uh, when you use your bank uh, account and uh, the bank retains full control of money during the the unused time so you can you, you know your money isn't in the bank but the bank is using them at the same time uh, you just see the numbers on your application uh, and or you know that you have access to your funds but uh, when you are not using this uh, them uh, they're used by a bank so the mo the money always belongs to its owner but under some terms the bank can can use this money the same happens with custodial wallets you know you have uh, access to to your funds you you know you can uh, you can uh, you operate with them send transactions or receive transactions but at the same time somebody else third party is using it for example centralized exchanges they are using your money uh, but you know you have your account you have your balances on on the centralized exchange classical exchange so of course uh, the, this service has its advantages and disadvantages if we talk about advantages it's possible to easily access your funds from any device on the internet connection um, so and the another advantage if you lose access or private key to your custodial account uh, the problem can be resolved by a person or organizations or also per person person that can uh, help you to restore your access so this is the advantage of any custodial wallets that can be controlled by third party and uh, on the other hand they can help you to restore your access so the disadvantage of course is quite obvious uh, that that's mentioned in the beginning so the control of money is left to institutions uh, in case something uh, bad happens with that institutions whether it was attacked or um, uh, or suited why not so by uh, by some other authorities by some state authorities or court so or ex exposed to hacking so your balance can be lost and will not be refunded to you so that's the main risk and unfortunately it happens quite often non-custodial wallets uh, are giving more control to a user so like on the contrary and opposite to custodial ones so uh, the control the control is fully on the customer's side on the user's side and in the hands of the of the user uh, all the digital wallet uh, addresses private keys and public keys information uh, are kept by the user therefore uh, there is more defense against uh, cyber attacks and uh, any other hacking incidents so although these options are high level of security we can we need to consider the risks uh, as the user has full control and in case a user loses this control this key the any type of keys or addresses so it's very important to know that 
the technical side of the uh, of the business in that case is on users uh, ha is in users hands and a user can lose the control if they uh, if they don't follow uh, follow the rules and don't keep the technical information properly so but uh, on the market there are hybrid mm, decisions and solutions when uh, when people have um, uh, semi control for non custodial wallets but uh, this is the topic of our practical uh, part uh, in the next video when we will talk about uh, the practical use of some crypto wallets that I personally use myself. Well, uh, uh, let's draw the line underneath our video and uh, single out the recommendations, the criteria that are recommended when you're using uh, your wallets or choosing your wallets. So, uh, first of all, private keys. So, wallets, uh, please choose the wallets when you control your private keys, uh, which is meant uh, non-custodial wallets. Ease of use is very important because uh, user interface is uh, quite important for people that use mobile devices especially and uh, even, even uh, people that are not so techy can use this wallet. So this is a very important thing uh, to be considered. Community. Uh, any wallet is exposed to any cha to changes, to uh, blockchain changes, to forks. And if you see the community on Discord uh, who are making updates on the, uh, on the wallet or making the update or software update on App Store or Google Play, uh, or any or desktop application this is very important to keep the the wallet mm, updated like any other software uh, that needs to be updated to new operating systems and so on uh, doing backups uh, i don't think you i need to comment on that so it's quite more than um, uh, uh, more than obvious and uh, evident to us uh, compatibility between different operating systems. Uh, mostly the developers are resolving that issues, uh, that issue. But in fact, you need to uh, uh, to see if your wallet is compatible with any other operating system. If you are uh, relying on mobile mobile uh, operating systems, you can uh, you need to be ensure it's both on on iOS or Android in case you change your operating system. Uh, for some reason or desktop system uh, if you have Mac of course uh, they are more rare in terms of software uh, and many developers do software only for Windows for example or uh, any uh, or if it's a browser uh, wallet uh, web wallet so you need to ensure you have the the browsers uh, that are uh, uh, that are compatible with this uh, with this wallet for example metamask is mostly compatible with uh, at least two uh, browsers uh, of course chrome and any other uh, brave uh, i'm not sure about safari i haven't checked uh, but you need to ensure you're using uh, the compatible version so this is the theoretical part mostly the basics uh, of what uh, the, what wallets are and uh, later on we can move to a practical side, I can show my personal wallets, what types I'm using and uh, what preferences we have. And especially we will particularly stress on DeFi wallets because DeFi wallets is a new type of wallets that emerged last year. So thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.